Away up high in the siry peaks where the yellow pine grows tall. Old Buster Jinx and Sandy Bob had a round up camp last fall. They started out with the running irons and maybe a dog or two. And the loud dead brand all the long eared calves that brought themselves in view. Now any old doggy that flapped long ears and didn't bush up by day Got his long ears whittled and his old hide sizzled in the most artistic way Then one fine day says Buster Jiggs as he throwed his seagull down I'm tired of cow pieography and allows I'm a-going to town So they set some up at a pretty good low pit, weren't no sort of a ride Them was the days when a good cow punch could aisle up his insides they started out at the Kentucky bar or the head of Whiskey Row, and they wound up down by the old depot some 48 drinks below. They set some up and they turns around, they started the other way, to tell the godforsaken truth them boys got drunk that day. As they were a-gallopin' back to camp and packin' a pretty good load, oh, whom should they meet but the devil himself prancin' down the road? Says he, you ornery cowboy skunks, you'd better hunt your holes. For I've come up from hell's rim rocks together in your souls. Well, the cowboy says, you devil be damned, us boys is pretty tight. And before you get any cowboy soldier, darn sure have to fight. Well, Jiggs took down his old seagull and he throwed it straight and true. And he roped it on the devil's horns and took his dallies too. Now Sandy Bob was a Riata man with his gut line coiled up neat. He shakes her out and he punches a hole and he gets the devil's hind feet. And they tailed him down while the irons were a-getting a-hot. They cropped and swallow fork both of his ears and they branded him up a lot. They trimmed him up with a dehorn saw, they knotted his tail for a joke. And rode right off and they left him there necked up to a blackjack oak. Now if you ever up in the siry peaks and you hear one a hell of a wail, you'll know it's the devil a bellering around about the knots we tied in his tail. Have you heard of the lavender cowboy with only two hairs on his chest? He wanted to be like the heroes, to fight like the he-men do. Herbicide and many hair tonics were rubbed in morning and night. But alas, when he looked in the mirror, no new hair grew into sight. He battled for Red Nelly's honor, cleaned out a hold-up nest, and he died with his six guns a smoking and only two hairs on his chest. I was hanging around town just to spending my time out of a job and not making a dime when a fellow steps up and he says I suppose that you're a bronc rider by the looks of your clothes you guesses me right I'm a good one I claim do you happen to have any bad ones to tame says that he has one the bad one to buck and for throwing good riders he's had lots of luck he says this old pony has never been rode, and the boy that gets on him is bound to get throwed. So I gets all excited and I ask what he pays to ride that old pony for a couple of days. He offers a ten spot, I says, I'm your man, for the bronc never lived that I couldn't fan. The bronc never lived nor he never drew breath that I couldn't ride till he'd star plumb to death. He says, get your saddle, I'll give you a chance. So we get in his old buckboard and drive to the ranch. Stay until morning and right after Chuck, I go out to see if that outlaw could buck. Well, down in the horse corral, standing alone, was this old caballo, a strawberry roan. His legs are all spavin', he's got pigeon toes, little pig eyes and a big Roman nose. 
little pin ears that touch at the tips and a big 44 brand on his left hip he's unicked and all with a long lower jaw i can tell with one eye he's a regular outlaw I puts on my hat, I'm a sure feeling fine. Next comes my chaps and I curl up my twine. Pile my loop on him and well I know then that before I rode him I'd sure earn my ten. I gets the blinds on him, it sure was a fight. Next comes my saddle and I screws her down tight. Steps upon him and raises the blind. I'm right in his old middle to see him unwind. He bowed his old neck and I guess he unwound Seemed to quit living down there on the ground Went up towards the east and came down in the west To stay in his middle, I'm a-doing my best He's about the worst bucker I've seen on the range He could turn on a nickel and hand just some change When he's a-buckin' he squeals like a shoat I tell you no foolin', he sure got my goat Tell you no foolin', that pony could step but I'm still in his middle and a building rep. He goes up on all fours, comes down on his side. I don't see how he keeps from losing his hide. I lose this my stirrup and also my hat. I'm pulling a leather and as blind as a bat. With a phenomenal jump, he goes up on high. Leaves me sitting on nothing way up there in the sky. I turns over twice and I comes back to earth And I lights into cussing the day of his birth Then I know there's old ponies I'm not able to ride There's some of them left, they haven't all died But I'll bet all my money that the man ain't alive Who can stay with old strawberry when he makes that high dime There was blood on saddle and blood all around and a great big puddle of blood on the ground a cowboy lay in it all covered with gore and he never will ride in a bronco's no more Oh, pity the cowboy, all bloody and red, for the bronco fell on him and mashed in his head. There was blood on the saddle, blood all around, and a great big puddle of blood on the ground. Well, away up high in the Mogollons, among them mountain tops, a lion claimed the yearling's bones and licked his thankful chops. When who upon the scene should ride a tripping down the slope, but a high chin bob of sinful pride and a maverick hungry rope. Oh, glory be to me, says he, and fame's unfading flowers. I ride my good top horse today, I'm top hand of a lazy jay, so kitty catch your hours. The lion licked his paws so brown, and he dreamed soft dreams of veal. When high chin's loop come a-circling down, roped him round his mule. He yelled quick fury to the world, and all the hills yelled back. A top horse gave a snort and a whirl, and Bob caught up the slack. Oh, glory be to me, says he, we'll hit the glory trail. No man is a loop to lion's head, and live to drag the booger dead, till I shall tell the tale. Way up high in the Mogollons, that top horse done his best. Mid whipping brush and rattling stones from canyon floor to crest. Up and down and round and cross, Bob pounded weak and won. But pride still glued him to his horse and glory drove him on. Oh, glory be me, says he, this glory trail is rough. But I'll keep this dolly around the horn until the break of judgment morn before I holler enough. Three sons had rode their circles home beyond the desert's rims. Turned their star herds loose to roam the ranges high and dim. Whenever Bob turned and looked around, the limp remains to find. A red-eyed lion belly roped, but he healthy loped behind. 
Oh, glory be to me, says he, he can't be drugged to death. These heroes that you were read about were only fools that stuck it out to the end of mortal breath. Well, away up high in the Mogollons, if you ever go there at night, you'll hear a ruckus among the stones that'll raise your hair with fright. You'll see a cow horse thunder by and a lion trail along, and a rider bold with chin on high sings forth his glory song. Oh, glory be to me, says he, and to my mighty noose. Oh, partner, tell my friends below, I took a raging dream in tow, and if I never laid him low, I never turned him loose. I'm just a young cowboy from the Alkali Flats. I ride a silver saddle and wear a white hat. I wash in a brook and I dry on a sack And I carry my wardrobe all on my back All day long in the mountains I ride With only a dog to trot by my side I kindle my fire with chips gathered around And I boil my coffee without being ground the mountains, my church, and the range is my home. My parson's a wolf on his pulpit of bones. I cook in a shovel and sleep on the ground. If the pretty gals don't like me, they needn't come around. Say, part of you sighted a schooner. Alongside of the Santa Fe Trail It got here on Monday or sooner Had a water keg tied on the tail There was Daddy and Ma on the mule seat And somewhere along on the trail Was a tow-headed gal on the pinto Just a jangling for old Santa Fe A high, a ho just a jangling for old Santa Fe. I first saw her down on the Roya, way back in the Arkansas sand, with a smile like an acre of sunflowers and a little brown quirt in her hand. She mounted her pony so airy, she rode like she carried the mail. And her eyes near set fire to the prairies, long side of the Santa Fe Trail. But I guess I'll make cedars by sundown, and camping may be in the swale. I'll find that little gal and the pinto, long side of the Santa Fe Trail. A hi, a ho. Just a jangling for old Santa Fe, a high, a ho. Just a jangling for old Santa Fe. Once I lived a happy life way out on the range. Far from all the city strife With its aches and pains With a bronco for my friend I was wild and free And I'm going back again Where I long to be I'm going home, going home Where coyotes howl and cattle roam Never more will I roam, I'm a going, going home. Many hours I'd ride the range, happy all the while. Never mind the weather change, take it with a smile. With my good old 44 hanging by my side. I'd go riding down the trail where the redskins hide. I'm going home, going home where coyotes howl and cattle roam. Never more will I roam. I'm a going, going home. 
with the light of early dawn flaming in the skies. I'd roll my blankets up and rub my sleepy eyes. Boil my coffee in a can, make it good and strong. Start another happy day with a cowboy song. I'm going home, going home where coyotes howl and cattle roam. Never more will I roam. I'm a going, going home. When that last great roundup comes on that judgment day. And I'm heading for the range where I'll never stray. When they lay me down to sleep on that lone prairie, I will hear the angels sing soft and tenderly. He's going home, going home where coyotes howl and cattle roam. Never more will he roam. He's a going, going home. Where the skies are always blue, where his friends are always true. Never more will he roam. He's a going, going home. When a fellow's been the straddle since he's big enough to ride And he's had to sling his leather on most any old colored hide Though it's not a thing they're proud of, yet at different times I've known If they've ever done much riding, have at different times been thrown All the boys start out together for the roundup some fine day You're due to sling your saddle on a little old wall-eyed bay He stands still with feet to sprawling and his eyes show lots of white And you kick him and you cuss him and his hide is puckered tight He swells to beat the nation while you're pulling up the slack And he keeps an elevation in the saddle at the back Keeps the rising and the jumping and he strikes when you get near And you cuss him and you bite him till you get him by the ear And your right hand grabs the saddle and you catch a stirrup too You try to light a straddle like a woolly buckaroo Stay with him, shout some feller, though you know it's hope forlorn And you show that you ain't yeller and you choke the saddle horn And the boys all yell together, fit to make a feller sick. Hey, you shorthorn, drop the leather fan, is fat and ride him slick. Seems you're upside down and a-flying, and the spares begin to slip. There's no further use of trying, for the horn flies from your grip. Then you feel a vague sensation as upon the ground you roll Like a violent separation twixt your body and your soul And you roll again a hummock where you lie and gasp for breath And there's something grips your stomach like the finger grips of death They all offer you prescriptions for the grip and for the croup And they give you plain descriptions how to do the loop the loop They all say you beat a circus or a hoochie-coochie dance Mopping up the canyon with the bosom of your pants Then you get up on your trotters and you find it hard to stand And the landscape round you totters and your collar's full of sand Lots of fellows give prescriptions how a bronco should be rode But they're few that give descriptions of the times that they get thrown Well, a cowboy left Arizona and he went back east one day With his high heel boots and his Stetson hat, he looked like a half-pig jay Packed his war bag full of duds and he sacked his saddle too He mixed around with the city blood, says, gosh, I'm feeling blue I'm going back to Arizona, that's where I want to be Got a gal in Arizona that I like mighty well to see Got a cow in Arizona, I got a calf that I like to brand Got a horse in Arizona that's running with a Mustang band Going back to Arizona and round them up someday With a hoop and a yell in the home corral, come a tie-yip-pie-yip 
He walked the town from end to end, and the cop said, move on to. Nobody grabbed him by the hand and hollered, howdy do. Says he, I want some quiet on a range that I know best. I'm homesick and don't deny it. I'm a going back out west. I'm going back to Arizona. That's where I want to be. Got a gal in Arizona that I like mighty well to see. Got a cow in Arizona. I got a calf I'd like to brand. Got a horse in Arizona that's a running with a Mustang band. Going back to Arizona and round them up someday. With a hoop and a yell in the home corral. Come a tie, I yip, I Little Joe the Wrangler will wrangle never more. His days with the remuda they are o'er. Twas a year ago last April when he rode into our herd, a little Texas stray and all alone. Twas a long late in the evening when he rode into the herd on a little old brown pony he called Chow. With his broken shoes and overalls, a harder looking kid in your life you seldom ever saw. His saddle was a Texas cack built many years ago, and an oak case for on one foot idly hung. With his hot roll in a cotton sack and loosely tied behind, his canteen from the saddle horn he'd slung. He said he'd had to leave his home, his dad had married twice, and his new ma beat him every day or two. So he saddled up old Chuck one night, and he lit a shuck this way, thought he'd try and paddle now his own canoe. Said he'd do the best he could if we'd give him work, though he didn't know straight up about a cow. So the boss, he cut him out a mountain, kind of put him on. He sort of like that little kid somehow. Taught him to wrangle horses and to know them all, to get them in by daylight if he could. To follow the chuck wagon and always hitch the team and help the coast in narrow Russell Wood. We'd driven to the Pecos, and the weather being fine, we camped down on the south side in a bend. When the norther began to blow in, and we doubled up the guards, it took all hands to hold the cattle then. Little Joe the Wrangler was called out with the rest, and scarcely had the kid got to the herd. When the cattle they stampeded like a hailstorm on they fled, with all of us riding for the lead. Between the streaks of lightning, a horse out in the lead, twas little Joe the Wrangler out ahead. He was riding old Blue Rocket with his slicker o'er his head, trying to beat the cattle in their speed. At last we got a millin and sort of quieted down, and the extra guard back to camp did go. But one of us was a missin, and we all knew at a glance, twas our little Texas stray poor Wrangler Joe. Next morning, just at sunup, we found where Rocket fell, down in a washout twenty feet below. Beneath his horse mashed to a pulp, his spurs had rung the knell. Twas our little Texas stray, poor Wrangler Joe. Oh, Walkin' John was a big rope horse from over Morongo way. When you laid your twine on a raging steer, old John was there to stay. So long as your rope was stout and strong and your terrapin shell stayed on. Dally Welton, oh, hard and fast, was all the same to John. When a long-eared calf would curl his tail, deciding he couldn't wait. Old John, forgetting the scenery, would hit an amazing gait. He'd bust through the murderous show your spikes without losing an inch of stride. And maybe you wished you was at home in bed, for partner he made your ride. 
Now John was willing, stout and strong, sure-footed and Spanish broke. But I'm telling the cockeyed world for once he sure did enjoy his joke. Whenever that morning sun came up, he'd bulk his head clear down. Your shafts was a-flapping like angels' wings, and your hat was a floating crown. Now that was your breakfast regular, maybe you fellow you stuck. But pitching a wingding, John was there a-teaching the world to buck. But after he'd got it off his chest and the earth came back into sight, he'd settle down like an eight-day clock when its innards is aisled and right. We gave him the name of Woke and John once during the round of time. Back in the days when beef was beef and John was in his prime. Now Charlie was limp and George was sore and Tex he wouldn't talk. When somebody said he's Woke and John cause he's making so many walk. But shucks, he was sold to a livery that was willing to take the chance of John becoming the gentleman not scared of them English pants. I guess with the sight of them toy balloons that swore on the tourist legs got John a-guessing from that time on and he went like he walked on eggs. As smooth as soap till a tourist guy bogged down in a pair of shafts and the rest of his green was plum disguised and the rest of his rig perhaps came floundering up to the livery and he asked for to see the boss. The boss, he savvied his number right and he gave him a gentle horse. Now Walk and John had never pitched for a year come first of June, but I'm telling the cockeyed world for once he sure recollected soon. When somebody whang the breakfast bell, though we'd all done had our meat, old Walk and John, he bust in two with his fiddle between his feet. That dude spread out like a sailing bat, went floating across the sky. He weren't dressed up or to aviate, but sister, he sure did fly. We picked him up from a choya bush, and part of his clothes stayed on. We felt of his spokes and wired his folks, was all the same to John. I'll never get drunk anymore. I'll never get drunk anymore. My head lay on a barroom floor, and I'll never get drunk anymore. Hi, lay, ho, lay. Hi, lay, ho, lay, ho, lay. Hi, lay, ho, ho, lay, ho, ho, lay, dee, ho, lay. I've treasures of silver and gold. That I've saved from times of old I got drunk one night What I spent was a fright And I'll never get drunk anymore Spanish is a loving tongue Fine is music light as spray Twas a girl I learned it from Living down Sonora way I don't look much like a lover Yet her love words I say over Often when I'm all alone Me amor mi corazón Nights when she knew when I'd ride She would listen for my spurs Fling the big door open wide Raise those laughing eyes of hers And my heart would nigh stop beating When I'd hear her tender greeting Whispered soft for me alone me amor mi corazón Moonlight in the patio Old senor are not near 
me and one a talking low. So the mother they couldn't hear how those owls would go a flying, and too soon I'd hear her sighing. In her little sorry tone, adios, mi corazón. Then one night I had to fly for a foolish gambling fight, and we said a swift goodbye on that black unlucky night. As I loosed her arms from clinging, with these words the hoofs kept ringing. As I galloped north alone, adios, mi corazón. Never seen her since that night. I can't cross the line, you know. She was Mex and I was white, and like is not, we're better so. But ever since I've sort of missed her, since that last wild night I kissed her, left her heart and lost my own. Adios, mi corazón. I'll sing you a true song of Billy the Kid. I'll tell of the dangerous deeds that he did way out in New Mexico long, long ago, when a man's only friend was his old forty-four. When Billy the Kid was a very young lad in old Silver City, he went to the bad. Way out in the west, with a gun in each hand, at the age of twelve years, he killed his first man. Fair Mexican maidens played guitars and sang the song about Billy, their boy bandit king. How ere his young manhood had reached its set end, had a notch on his pistol for twenty-one men. Twas on the same night. That poor Billy died. He said to his friends, "I am not satisfied. There are twenty-one men I have put bullets through, and Sheriff Pat Garrett must make twenty-two." Now this is how Billy the Kid met his fate. The bright moon was shining. The hour was late. Shot down by Pat Garrett, who once was his friend. The young outlaw's life had now come to an end. There's many a man with a face fine and fair who starts out in life with a chance to be square, but just like poor Billy, he wanders astray and he loses his life in the very same way.